Welcome. We are going to study the manufacturing process die casting. Die casting is a process mainly for non ferrous alloys. So, which are the non ferrous alloys? Aluminium, zinc, lead, etc. There are many processes in die casting. One is gravity die casting, then pressure die casting, and low pressure die casting. Let us understand gravity die casting. In this process, the metal is filled by the force of gravity. No external pressure is required. Hence, this method is called as a gravity die casting process. Let us understand the machine operation. The dies are closed and mechanically clamped. Molten metal is filled. If it is aluminium, the temperature is around 650 to 700 degrees Celsius. After solidification, the dies are opened and the casting is taken out. Then the dies are cleaned and they are ready for the next cycle of operation. Various allowances are provided like machining allowance, draft allowance, contraction allowance. Contraction allowance is mainly for the temperature difference. When we fill the metal, it solidifies, so the size is reduced. To compensate this deviation, extra cavity is made in the die that is called as a contraction allowance. It is also called as a shrinkage allowance. Another is draft allowance. So taper surfaces are provided on all surfaces which are perpendicular to the parting surface. So whatever surfaces are there which are perpendicular to that parting surface, you have to provide the draft angle that is for smooth ejection of component from the die. Another allowance is machining allowance. When the casting is produced, the surface is raw and we have to machine that surface. So extra material is provided on all the surfaces which are machined later on for ensuring the smooth surface for mounting another part. Let us understand the various materials used for the dies. The most favored material for gravity die casting is cast iron. Then another choice is hot die steel and you can use OHNS that is oil hardened non-shrinking. Which are the components produced by die casting process? So aluminum alloys used for producing clutch housing, gearbox housing, then uh, engine head and parts of washing machine, parts of air conditioning. Copper alloys used for gears, pinions and impellers of pumps. Lead alloys used for the parts of lead storage batteries. Zinc casting can also be produced. We can provide the air cooling by increasing the surface area on the side faces. In that cases, fins are used to improve the production rate. Let us understand some advantages of the die casting process. In this process, high rate of production is obtained. In this process, you can use sand core. So any critical geometry you can produce. The complex parts like engine head, clutch housing, gearbox housing, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, some of the components which are very critical in shape, they are produced by GDC. Excellent surface finish is obtained by this process. This process produces very high accuracy. You can produce a component in microns. Very less machining allowance you can provide like 0.5 or 1 mm machining allowance is possible in this process. So this reduces machining time. You have a less cost of the product and productivity is improved. Very small cord hole can be obtained as cast. Means in the casting itself, you will get a very small hole, cord hole. Let us understand some of the limitations of the die casting processes. The first limitation is that huge components cannot be produced by die casting process. Then the tooling cost is also high in die casting process. Initial setup cost is also very high. Generally, the die casting is mainly for the non ferrous alloys. So there is again a limitation for this particular process. This process is not suitable for job order, means if you want some samples to be produced, this is not possible. This requires a batch or a mass production. Design engineer has to understand the limitations and advantages of these processes. He can decide the particular process during product design. 
आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस टॉपिक थैंक यू